Well, there is no question that going out to get food and supplies right now can be a difficult task. Well, that's why some South Florida restaurants trying to survive on takeout and delivery are also offering grocery-style items to go. CBS 4's Frances Wang is live from her home studio with a look at this. Frances. Yeah, Elliot Rudabay, if you're trying to avoid those crowded grocery stores or even the lines to get in, you may want to check with your local restaurants to see if they're offering grocery items. Now, this way, you can get what you need, you can stay safe by social distancing, and you can support local businesses that are really struggling right now. Sunday, you know, business was pretty non-existent. Like many chefs and restaurant owners, Michael Beltran remembers how quickly the coronavirus made its impact. Two days later, uh, it's been a month and a little bit. Um, we closed on that Tuesday was our last service. Forced to change his business model right away, two of his restaurants are now combined for takeout. His third, Cuban Diner Chugs, is now also operating as a grocery store. However you can pivot and quickly adapt and try to be as creative as possible is this is an example of their weekly offerings posted on Instagram. They're even making bread, ice cream, and pasta. It's all available for pickup and delivery. Um, showcase the talent that we have as much as possible and really be there for the community as much as we can. Because right. I know, for me, it's tough going to the grocery store. Neven Patel, owner of Ghee Indian Kitchen, is also consolidating his restaurants, using produce from his farm and homestead for what's on their takeout menu. So every day we come in, we harvest a lot of stuff from the farm. To avoid waste during these hard times, he gives the surplus of produce away, trying to help those who need it, while hoping he can stay afloat when this is all over. You know, sales are down, I would say, around 80%. So oh. <laughs> it's not pretty. And it's not just local businesses. Even chains are struggling in these times. This Texas Roadhouse in Kendall serving as a butcher shop, offering discounted prices on their meats. Um, we had put some packs together, large butcher packs, small butcher packs, medium butcher packs. We also have some steaks, uh, ribeyes, um, and uh, other, other choice meats that we have packaged up. And of course, really huge for these small businesses is whenever there are these big events like the NFL draft, Chugs is offering a quarantine kit. It has chips and dips, wings, burgers, beers, or margaritas. Elliot Rudebay sounds fantastic. Live from my home studio, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News tonight.